Hi Pisces, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you're doing well. Okay, we have the Five of Wands. And the Five of Wands is a card where you can see, looks like the boys in this illustration are having at it, but maybe there's no leadership, maybe there's no system here, there's no working together. It's almost like every man for himself. With the Five of Wands, we may get a sense that you have to encounter healthy competition this week. You may be working on a team that isn't quite gelling. There could be a relationship in your life where maybe you're just not seeing things eye to eye or working together. There could be arguments, there could be heated discussions. The good news is that this can be overcome. It's a minor arcana card and through communication, through trying to remediate or to compromise or to negotiate, you may find relief from situations that are, you know, that where people are not coming together, working together. So then as an awareness for the week, we have the lovely and positive sun. And the sun brings such joy and happiness and delight into your life, just like that baby on the horse. It's free, feeling carefree feeling happy. This card signals good relationships, good health, inspiration, you know, feeling creative, like you want to you wanna do something that's going to excite the world and it's going to uh, shine your abilities or your talents for the world. In the background, you see the sunflowers. Again, the sun brings our life force and in turn creates the abundance within our lives. The banner here or the sash, the red sash represents our passion. So again, have fun, relax, make some time for fun this week to enjoy what you like doing. And you know, if you're in a relationship, things are going well with the relationship. Things are going well at home. You may even be recognized for doing a job well done, but there's certainly a sense here of, uh, good things to be aware of for the week. So good things aware for the week. And then we have the seven of cups, options, visualization, daydreaming, fantasizing about what if, what if I went this route? Well, this cup has this, my life could look like this. What if I went in this other direction? Then, hmm, this could take place. So it's important to allow ourselves to fantasize, to daydream, to think big. The problem is though, is if we make that the reality, the dreaming part, if we don't move forward or try to take steps to make progress, then that's where things get a little tricky or uh, maybe a little bit uh, dodgy. So. The seven of cups, again, this emotional energy, this stirring below of thinking, what is it that I really want to do? I'm not quite sure. I have a lot of opportunities, or at least I think I have a lot of opportunities. So perhaps the guidance is to narrow your focus, direct your energy toward one of the cups. And if you're able to achieve that, then go to the next cup. So interesting, we have a sense of perhaps disharmony or discord. We have the joy of the sun feeling carefree, lots of options. And then we have a disruption. We have the tower here to disrupt your daily life, your daily routine. Something happens this week where maybe it throws you off your game, or maybe you are on, you're, you're not expecting what happens. Could be something relatively small, but has a big ripple effect, or 
uh, you know, it could be something totally unexpected and large, you know, maybe, uh, maybe you get the flu for the week and you can't go to work and you have a, an important presentation. There's so many permeations to the tower, but it's about clearing away what needs to be cleared away in order to build a stronger foundation. It also can represent disruptions to our daily life and how we have to change course, how we have to restructure, how we have to reset and look at things differently and appreciate that change happens and, and it can be very random and that randomness can impact how we live. So it's just something to be very aware of for the week is that uh, you may receive unexpected news, you may have, uh, you know, perhaps your, your rental for the Airbnb that you were planning on and had a deposit on fell through and it's thrown your vacation plans or your travel plans in disarray. Something like that could be a tower moment. Ooh. Okay, so we have the King of Cups. The King of Cups is this lovely, sensitive energy, someone who is very masterful of emotions, someone who is a very sympathetic listener, who would give good, honest advice to someone who is feeling hurt or upset from a situation. You want to rely on people like the King of Cups within your life. So whether this is someone within your circle, within your family, your work environment, someone that you know, they have a degree of wisdom and experience and an ability to really tune in and to be emotionally present. And they're going to be giving of love to you. Love through a healing, sensitive nature. And here's the emotional component of support or people that you're interacting with. And then here we have a little bit more, perhaps uh, less emotional and just more down to, the, down to the business at hand. So we might think of the Queen of Swords as someone who relies on their intelligence and on their reason to make decisions someone who's going to look at the rule of law, someone who's going to be really informed, but this analytical approach. Uh, so while you might be getting love and comfort from the King of Cups, from those within your circle, the Queen of Swords may say, listen, you really need to focus on the facts. If you don't get with it, uh, you know, this may happen. And if you don't find a way to generate, I'm just giving an example here, generate additional income, Let's not play around. You're gonna, you could lose this or that. So there's a real sense here that she tells it like it is and that bluntness sometimes is needed. Kind of like a little swift kick in the behind for the truth because she's gonna tell you how it is based on the facts and based on what is there. May not be the softest touch or the warmest touch, but fair, reasonable, and focused on um, understanding the power of the blade to analyze and to look at situations from left and right and up and down in all directions. I think that this Queen of Swords, the, these two people are here to help navigate this tower situation. One as a, an emotional friend, someone who is going to be uh, tuned into you emotionally and then someone else who's gonna maybe give tough love and advice that you need to hear. So interesting cards with the sun, which is generally speaking, very powerful and very happy and joyful. And then you have this options and you know, maybe you're gonna be forced to, to pursue some options as a result of the tower. And here's the piece where you're, you're relying on friends, loved ones as counsel. Let's get a little more information and we will uh, get an idea of the focus or the meditation point for the week. O 
overcoming obstacles. So I think this is a card that's in great alignment with these other, with the other cards that we have with the tower. The tower is, in many sense, it can feel like an obstacle because change can be challenging. Change can be really hard. But overcoming obstacles, you have to take charge. You have to remember your passions, your, uh, des the positivity within your life, the confidence. Don't let this suck your confidence away. And often we overcome obstacles relying on friends for support. So now I'm going to choose an oracle card for spirit or emotional self. Self-sabotage. When you learn to get out of your own way, there will be no stopping you. Most of the time, it's not others who prevent you from achieving your goals. It's that your inner voice that... It's that inner voice that derails those carefully woven plans. So self-sabotage, we've all been there. We've all done something to get in our own way. I think the first step is being aware of perhaps of sometimes what you do. And again, while the King of Cups may be giving you a loving, kind, and considerate message, the Queen of Swords may be saying, you know, you need to stop messing around. You need to take responsibility for your actions. Um, keep your eyes open and focus on what you need to do. And finally, let's choose a card for love and we'll see what's shaken for love. Embrace your emotions. Don't push down your feelings or judge your emotions. So don't be afraid to, uh, you know, if, you, if you're having ups and downs, if you're having good emotions like with the sun, if you are feeling like you can't handle or cope with big changes, that's natural. And, you know, when we, when we suppress our feelings, it causes illness and stress and all type of difficulties. So allow whatever emotions to come through. They're yours. Embrace them. Pay attention to them. And uh, it's just going to help you in terms of, I think, overcoming the obstacles. This is what I have for you for the week, and I hope that you found something helpful here today. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like, share, or comment. I'd love to hear from you. Have a great week. Keep your chin up, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.